Hello, Cancers, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So, congratulations to all the graduates out there, you guys. Um, yeah, we've all put in a lot of effort um, into everything that we've been doing, right? I feel like we're all graduating. Honestly, that's the feeling that I'm getting. So, yes, give, give yourselves a pat on the back whether uh, you're graduating from school or not. I, I feel like this is graduation day across the board. To be honest with you, I really do. Um, anyway, Cancers, this reading is for the collective, so it may or may not resonate with you, okay? Um, just take what does resonate, toss out the rest. Um, don't try to force any reading into your world, Cancer. And um, I love you guys. Thank you so much for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything. The love. Oh, that's way too many. But already somebody is like watching you graduate. Look at, I feel like you've cut this person out and you're out here being beautiful. You're out here being sexy. That's the feeling that I'm getting here, Cancer. And you're just not wasting your time anymore with this person. And they've been holding back all their love. This person's just watching you, okay? And you're not paying them any attention at all. They're kind of pushed up against a, a rock and a hard place here. They feel kind of stuck wherever they are. They do not want to come and confront all of the things that they've done to you. But, uh, yeah, this person's got a lot of love inside. They're holding back, Cancer. All right, what can you show me for this situation? Yeah, that was too many cards, guys. I don't want to take that many cards. So what can you show me for cancer? Oh, and um, don't uh, look, the scammers are out there dropping comments and stuff like that. So um, don't buy into that, guys. I am not giving personal reads. I'm not for um, an undetermined amount of time. I'll let you guys know when I open the doors to personal readings again, but if anyone um, is saying that they're gonna give you a personal read, whether they're using my picture and name or not, that is a scammer. I will never do that. So um, yeah, don't buy into that, guys. Starve the scammers. Yeah, this person, they can't be, um, they know if they come towards you, Cancer. They know, this person knows if they come towards you, they can't be running around the questions anymore. They can't have any more um, immature energy. This person's gonna have to grow up, basically. They've gotta grow up. They've gotta grow a pair, Cancer, and they're gonna have to answer your questions. Honestly, they're not gonna be able to schmooze you. Um, and they're holding back the love. I feel like um, they know they're going to have to, if they come towards you, you're going to have some questions for this person, and they're going to have to explain, I feel, the things that they've done to you in the past, all right, in order to get past this. Whether they show you love or not, they're going to have to explain this stuff. Like, I really don't feel like you're going to leave that alone. Okay, you're not going to let them run around everything. You're not going to let them just sneak away, you're, you know, and not tell you the question or not tell you the answers. You're not going to let them get away with this behavior anymore, basically. And they know that. Man, though, they want to reach out to you so bad. Um, they really do. They want to reach out to you so bad. But all they can do is watch because, honestly, they don't. Yeah, they're being made to sit and watch. That's what this is. This person's being made to watch you be out here sexy, going after the things that you want, your happiness. I feel like you're keeping your moves hidden, and this is crossing the soulmate's card. So this person doesn't even know if you want them or not because you're not paying them any attention at all. And they may think that you're out here, you know, with somebody else even maybe. But yeah, I feel like you're you're also keeping your moves hidden, but it, having it crossed this soulmate card, this person doesn't know if they even have a chance with you or not. Okay? If they come forward and talk to you after they tell you all of this stuff, because they know you're not going to leave it alone, like you're not going to leave that alone. Right? They're expected to explain all the different ways that they hurt you. 
okay um yeah so that after they tell you that stuff they're wondering if if they are even going to have a chance and that's why they're holding back telling you how they feel that's kind of why right there because yeah boom they know you want justice they know you want the truth and if they give you the truth that's the end for them i in no way am i joking i cannot make this up guys that's the feeling that i'm getting they know that you want the truth you want these scales balanced you want the truth because they've kept you sitting here blindfolded they've kept you sitting here with no answers no nothing, no clarity, no anything. You've had to use your intuition through this process. Okay, so you want, if they're going to come forward towards you, you expect them to be honest with you. And they know if they explain all this stuff that they've done while you guys have been in separation, they're done for. <laughs> they won't have a chance. So they, I, you know, this person doesn't, it's almost like, they want to come and tell you how they feel about you, but they know if they tell you the truth, they're done. I feel like you'll cut them out. Yeah, they're very pouty right now. They've got themselves stuck, I'm telling you. And whatever they chose over you, now this could be multiple people here. Whatever they chose over you, um, it didn't work out. They don't want that anymore. They just don't want it anymore. And they're sitting here, like, thinking. I feel like they're thinking, they're pouting, they're, they're pulled away. They're isolating themselves to think about this stuff, right? And they're getting grumpier and grumpier, you know, as they think about it because they realize you want the truth. And they don't want to give it because they're ashamed of the things that they've done. You know, so they're, fe they're feeling like they're going to lose you anyway. Even if they come in to talk, that this person's going to lose you anyway. Because once you find out all that they've done, you're, that's going to be it for them. That's going to be it. And it'll be a very painful ending. All the things that they've done to you are going to go right back. Those swords will go right back into them. And they don't want to be the ones feeling heartbroken. They don't want to be the ones in pain. You know, and I honestly, Cancer, I don't think you care. Look, at, at the split here, this is way too many cards, but um, this is what they want. This person can't stop thinking about you. It's driving them crazy. It, they can't stop thinking about you, Cancer. You're their Six of Cups, and they really want to build with you. This is a reunitement card. This person wants to reunite with you, okay? But... You're not going to, I'm seeing you totally not leaving this alone. You want answers. If somebody comes towards you, they have to give you the clarity that, that you require, period. So, the th you know, this person can't shake the thought of you, Cancer. They want to reunite, but they don't want to tell you the whole truth. And they know they're going to have to. Okay, so right now they're kind of, I feel like they're isolating themselves. They're just sort of sitting here, look, yeah. They want this love here with the high priestess. That's what they're doing is they're sitting here hiding. They're hiding. They could be hiding. Uh, they found a, some kind of isolated hiding spot to sit and think about this. Okay, that's what they're doing. Um, they want some peace and quiet, and they want their cancer, they want their high priestess, they want this new beginning, they want to get back together. This is all the things that they want. They just don't want to do the work. They don't want to put in the work. They don't want to tell you all that they have done behind your back. They don't want to tell you all the things that they've said. They don't want to tell you all of their scheming, all of the people that they've been with. They don't want to tell you all of that. Because they know if they do, they're done. And they don't want to feel that. And the divine is like, we don't care. This is the lesson. This is your karma. You got to do this. They're really pushing this person. Yeah. Telling you that they, the divine wants this person to come forward and be honest and do the right thing. 
then all of their mental torture will come to an end. Because this is like mental torture too. This is pain. And, and this is them unable to stop thinking about it to the point where they're like, okay, I just need to pull myself away, get by myself, get isolated, go hide somewhere, sit down and think about this. That's what they're doing. So, yeah, because they definitely want this with you, Cancer. But can they get it? That's just it. I feel like this person's done things behind the scenes, or this could just be all the ways that they hurt you. But they do not want to tell you the full truth. They know that'll be the end, uh, the end of them, basically. Yeah, they don't have any kind of defense. They don't. I feel like whatever they did, they did on purpose. And now they're being spanked by the universe. I'm not kidding. They're being spanked by the universe, okay? And they don't have a defense. This is somebody learning their lesson. They're, this is their punishment, I guess. And, you know, this person, they're physically able to come in and tell you the truth. But it's almost like this is all mental, you know? They're in mental anguish here, kind of, because, yeah, in order to get what they truly, truly want, they have to be honest and confess the things that they've done wrong. Yeah. And they, I, I don't know what some of these things are. They've done some pretty bad things to you, Cancer, behind your back and while you were in separation. How they hurt you when, when they left. They could have abandoned you to heal on your own. I, I, I see you as being silent through this whole thing. You know? And it's only fair. There's fairness. You want fairness. You want fairness. And if anybody is going to start a relationship with you, two of cups, uh, four, four of wands, Right? If anybody's going to start a relationship with you, you want to know the truth about that person. And that's justified. So you are completely right in demanding an explanation for the pain and demanding to know what was done towards you behind your back. So this is somebody who's hiding a lot. Um, and they know. <laughs> I can keep repeating it, but all right, what else can you show me here? Yeah, Knight of Swords energy. This is somebody who see they know the truth is going to is going to hurt you. Um, the Knight of Swords energy, they come flying in with the truth, but the, this is truth that is very cutting. It's kind of like I see it as a painful truth, okay? Um, or it could even be somebody spreading lies, right? They, this person could have spread a lot of lies. Um, clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? I feel like this person's coming towards you to talk, even though they don't want to. This could happen really fast, okay? This person could fly in from the side really fast here, or they could be cutting someone else out here. I feel like they're gonna they're about to free you. Um, I feel like a while ago, not anymore, I feel like you're healed now, but I feel like for, for a time you were trapped and stuck in your mind because nobody gave you clarity. No, they stuck you in the situation and you were surrounded by all of these thoughts, these questions that you had. This is your person coming in to cut you out of this position. Clarify this, um... Eight of Swords for me, please. That flipped up in the deck. Yeah. They've been watching, holding back, but I feel like... I feel like, um... They're coming in to, they're coming in to talk, Cancer. They're giving you your clarity. I don't know that they'll give you all of what you're looking for, though. To be honest, they don't really want to. Yeah, they're gonna... They're gonna... As soon as this person talks to you, Cancer... Two people might even come in and talk to you. It may be, because uh, what I'm seeing is this, this dude came out first, right? 
this Knight of Swords came out first. So this is somebody who's coming in with the truth really fast. But then the Page of Swords followed them. I'm seeing this as a karmic individual. Somebody who's around this person. Um, they're following them to you, okay? But this person, your, your masculine is going to give you the truth, I think. Enough truth. And they, and they may come in together, and this just might be the kind of drama that you just are like, forget it, I'm done, I'm moving on. Like, for real, I'm moving on. I feel like it just frees you. It frees you from any kind of confusion that you had about this situation. You're just, you're either not going to want to deal with this drama, or you're going to get just enough information that just enough information to cut you out of this trap okay either way cancer you're going to be freed from this you're going to move on you're going to move forward and i feel like this person just i feel like they want to come in correct but they're now they're bringing a karmic individual in here too yeah you're being gifted a new beginning that's see that's what it is I feel like you making this decision to just leave, even once this person gives you, um, gives you clarity or just communication, period, right? That's, that's enough for you to move forward. When you make this decision right here, right here on the line, right? You go from still wondering about this to moving on right there you graduate I'm telling you it's graduation day and you graduate that wheel turns okay um, yeah and you get you get rewarded for this you get rewarded for being strong enough to move forward yeah even after you get some clarity you move forward so expect this new beginning to start rolling in really fast once you make this decision. The decision is right here. It's right here in between these two cards. Boom. You go from feeling like this to leaving the scene. Cancer has left the freaking building. Like for real. The wheel turns. You have a new beginning. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so what happens with these two? I feel like these two are together. I feel like this is your person and this is their karmic following after them, okay? All right, so what happens with these two? Yeah, they're, they could get married together. These two could get, end up getting married and then being out in the cold. They go from a Ten of Pentacles down to a Five. They could have already gotten married. So this could be a married couple already. They lose pretty much half of what they've got. Everything dwindles. You get a new beginning and the world or the um, Wheel of Fortune turns in your favor. And you get to write a new chapter in your life, a brand new beginning that's abundant. You've made it. Okay. You have a victory. And they, their life starts, they start losing things. I feel like these two will stay together and they'll end up like this. Okay, out in the cold, low on their money, low on health, in tatters, possibly even homeless, a jobless. And your person will still be hanging on to your energy wanting you. Yeah, this is going to happen for someone. Both of these people, I feel like, um, will have something to say. It's going to be just enough to free you completely from this cancer. I'm telling you, your graduation day, the day you're set free, it's all coming. It's all coming to you, honey. Anyway, Cancers, listen, that's what I've got for this reading today. I hope that helps. I hope it resonates with you guys. If you like this video, please click that like button, guys. Subscribe to the channel, too. Um, if you like this vibe and it's resonating with you, become a new Mooney, because the Soul Tribe would love to have you. And until next time, Cancers, take care of you, my darlings, and peace out.